Although just 26 years old, it's as though Ken Roxon has already lived a lifetime in the sport. And while he was world champion at 17, his journey from Germany to the United States wasn't an easy one. A lot of new stuff got thrown at us. And same, when you're in a different culture, new country, new continent, actually, um, you don't know where to go grocery shop and the time difference and, you know, the smell of the bikes, the way a supercar's bike is set up is really stiff and I wasn't used to that. I think for a lot of the international riders, those who've come from overseas, their journey, it's that much more complicated because just to realize their dream of being here and competing in Monster Energy Supercross, that alone is a task to accomplish. So when you then take them out onto the track, I think you see that, that grit, that determination, and you see so much of that in Ken Roxon to overcome everything that he has, all the injuries. You've got to wonder if he's drawing from all of what he learned on that journey to just to get here. Having not only survived, but become revived after two near career-ending injuries, Roxon has sacrificed it all for this sport. There isn't anyone on the track that has experienced the highs and lows of Supercross racing more than Ken Roxon. Everyone kind of started to wonder, well, is he going to win? You know, it, it's going to happen at some time, but when is it going to happen? It had been three years since his last triumph as the series entered the second round in St. Louis. And I remember that night being on the podium watching the race and five minutes to go. And I'm watching the monitor and you see his wife, Courtney, and her eyes are starting to tear up. And you can see this emotion starting to build because we all realize this is about to happen. To finally win again, it was special. It was an honor to call that race. Nearly a three year wait is finally over. Ken Roxon is back in the winner's circle. Obviously, you can see the emotion on the podium and afterward, it felt so familiar, you know, and, I, and, and, and to me, mentally, it kind of like got the ball rolling a little bit at the beginning. You know, going from zero wins the last three years to four last year was at least a step in the right direction. Now, with a full summer of recovery, he enters the 2021 season with a renewed determination. You know what, at this point, I don't put any pressure on myself. It's kind of like being in the present moment and just take it one step at a time. You know, first is the gate drop, manage the first turn, make it through the first lap and just kind of like chip away like that. So the championship and same with race wins will come if I got everything under control. After the season ended, Ken returned home instead of going on with the Outdoor Nationals, he decided to take a much needed break and spend time with his wife and their new son, Griffin. Yeah, Courtney and I are parents now and things change, right? You have this newborn and then two months later, they, they look different and they interact with you. They start laughing and that's what really warms your heart. You know, we wake up in the morning and, and he makes our day brighter. 